come in. There'll be a meeting of the stockholders of General Mills. 1954. By cracky, I've been sleeping again. 26 years this time. Uh, seems to me I got a share of General Mills stock someplace around here. 1928. Wonder if it's worth anything now. Come in. Mr. Winkle, I've been looking for you. What's all this? These are your dividends. We've never failed to earn and pay a dividend since the company began in 1928. And there was a three-for-one stock split in 1945. Hey, General Mills is doing all right for a flour milling company. Flour milling company? You have been asleep. There have been some changes since 28. Diversification, a broader base. Come on, I'll show you. Flour is still the backbone of the business, and the baker is our largest customer. We make many kinds of flour for his special needs as well as export flowers and Durham products. <laughs> the Grocery Products Division sells Gold Medal, America's most popular family flower. Wheaties! So just buy Wheaties. The, the best breakfast food in the land. <laughs> What in tarnation is that? That's Sugar Jets, our new sweetened breakfast cereal. Betty Crocker, what's happened to her? There she is, Rip. Today, Betty Crocker is better known than ever, and she's giving more and better service to the homemaker. Golly, we sure have a lot of different products. Wait until you see our feed division. This is where Laro Sure Feeds are tested, where the animals tell us what makes them grow fastest at the lowest cost to the farmer. Hey, not there. Over there. That's right. Another satisfied customer. Our special commodities division makes a variety of products for industry. And now, Rip, Here's the chemical division, with its soybean products, fatty acid products, and organic chemicals. Next stop, the mechanical division, where we manufacture precision equipment for the armed forces and machinery for industry. I see what you mean by a broad base, General. Good, but here's something more you haven't seen. The Ocello division, makers of cellulose sponge products, takes General Mills into a promising new field. Hey, General, what's that down there? Take a look, Rip. That's Toronto and General Mills Canada Limited, a recent expansion. The people of Canada are in an era of dynamic growth and development, and we want to contribute to it. Well, what does all this mean in dollars and cents? It's about time to find out, Rip. That's the end of our fiscal year. Let's pick up the money and get to work. $487,500,000. Total sales revenue for the 1953-54 fiscal year. Things were never this good in 1928. But wait, Rip, this isn't all profit. Yikes! The farmer gets his share, as do those who provide transportation, packaging, and other supplies. This adds up to a total of $399 million for materials and expenses. Next comes wages, salaries, and retirement benefits for the men and women of General Mills.
The employee's share totals $65,900,000. Subtracting this from the amount left, after paying other expenses, leaves $22,600,000. Our earnings before federal income taxes. Then a grand total of $11,400,000 for taxes. That fella's got a mighty big pocket. Now, let's see how much we have left. Deducting federal income taxes gives us net earnings of $11,200,000. That means earnings of $4.50 per share of common stock, of which two and a half goes to stockholders. What about the rest of that money? That's for reinvestment in the business, for future growth and development, Rip. It increases the net worth of the company. By following this policy, the stockholders' equity has grown from $47 million to an all-time high of $120,600,000. By cracky, putting that money back in the business sure is paying off. General, but don't let me sleep more than a year this time. I want to see what happens next year. Plenty is going to happen, and I'll show you why. One assurance of General Mills' future growth is research. Research to develop new products and improve our present ones. The other is the men and women of General Mills, the folks who are dedicated to more and better service to our customers. So long, General. Good luck. <laughs> And so, powered by the twin rockets of research and human resources, it's Horizons Unlimited for General Mills. The greatest developments are yet to come.